And now for some of uh, our audience questions. How do you counter the argument, argument that Hillary is crooked, crooked Hillary, as she's been named, uh, branded? Well, she's not. Uh, and, and again, and yet, I, when you do polls, I, well, I, I wanna, she comes off as more untrustworthy than Donald well, Trump does. Well, I want you all to remember something. Uh, for the last 25 years, I don't know a person in American politics who has been as vilified for 25 years as has Hillary Clinton. Uh, I remember in 1990, at the end of 1992, uh, in fact, it was just before the election mm -hmm. of 1992, uh, we both were here in San Francisco, and we flew from San Francisco back to Washington, uh, and we sat next to each other. And she, during that flight, uh, said to me, and I'll never forget this, she said, I don't understand why they hate me. And I said, well, they don't hate you, but there's a lot of uh, anger out there at somebody who is a baby boomer and a, a, a powerful woman uh, and well-educated, uh, Ivy League, uh, and I went through a whole list mm -hmm. of things then, and I don't think I calmed her down, but I think that, <laughs> uh, I, think that uh, I, I think that it's true. I, uh, Hillary Clinton uh, is and has been for 25 years uh, the first of her generation, a very, very controversial generation, uh, and the first woman of her generation to uh, be as uh, powerful in many ways as she has been, uh, that's going to stir up a hornet's nest. Uh, she also faced right from the beginning what she later described as a vast right-wing conspiracy. And at the time, I was doubtful. I, I'm, a, I'm not a conspiratorial theorist. I, I don't believe in conspiracies. It's not so much a conspiracy, but it is a vast right-wing organizing attempt right from the beginning. Uh, to knock Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton down. And I saw it, I was there. Uh, one thing after another with Whitewater and Travelgate and Troopergate and Vince Foster, uh, you remember, and on and on and on. And there was never any shred of evidence that actually proved any of the malfeasance that anybody accused her of doing. But just think of that accumulating over 25 years uh, in the subterranean vaults of the public's mind. Uh, and you get an understanding of why it could be that there is distrust. Uh, th also, let me just add one other factor. Uh, she's human, and to that extent, and I've used this metaphor a few times, if, you're, if, you're, if you were walking, if you were just about to walk across a beautiful field, it's a gorgeous day, and you are feeling at the top of your form, and you start walking across the field, and you have a couple of friends with you, uh, but you keep running into landmines, uh, and your friends explode, and other people explode, and uh, you, it, it, you, you might begin to feel less confident, and you might, you might want to armor yourself a little bit, and you might become a little bit more cautious. Uh, and the day might not look quite as wonderful as it started to look. And I think that over 25 years, uh, any human being who has been subjected to what Hillary Clinton has been subject to is going to be a little cautious and a little armored. Uh, and I don't, I understand that. 